Hey guys, Maxi Design here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this poster right in front of me, um, the immunity poster um, that I did for Claro. Um, I also wanted to point out that if you don't already follow me, um, this is probably the best place to follow me on Instagram um, under the name Max Chadwick with two eyes. Um, this is where I've been posting all my work. Um, Twitter, I, I'm sometimes on Twitter but it's not really the best place for me. I think Instagram, I'm starting to like really like get the hang of it. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to go ahead and follow me over there, um, then you can catch up with all my latest work and stuff like that. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about this poster right here. Um, this is one I made for Claro um, for the for the album Immunity. Um, it's kind of like a like a gradient style line poster with um, the image from if I can it is this image right here um, so yeah I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this look um, and how I made it look the way it looks okay first of all what I did was I took the picture of Claro and I dragged it into Photoshop um, and I pen tooled around um, the photo in order to have um, something a little bit like this if I pull this to the front uh, if I actually make a new make a new document and we can show you guys what this looks like so this is the pen tool version it's in a luminosity so it's black and white but here is what I came up with um, so all these different parts were different colors and what I've done is I've actually pen tooled around them you can see kind of little bits where I've I've left a bit of white. Um, I've actually taken two colours. So for the, for instance, this one I've taken a sort of peachy, peachy orange colour, and then a pink, um, and then use that for the face. And then I've taken a darker purple, and then a pink, um, and use that for the hair. Same same with the t-shirt. Same with the jeans. A little bit darker for the belt, um, and then kind of for the skin tones, I've gone for the same peachy orange and pink kind of thing. Um, so I do have a tutorial on pen tooling that you can guys can check out. I'll put it in the description below. I'm not really going to go into pen tooling now because um, it is just a really, if you've never done it before, you need like an entire new tutorial for that um, to get the hang of it. Um, so yeah, that's what I did for the actual body of Claro. Um, and then what I did was, so I, I, I inserted all the, um, let me show you. I took all of the all of the different gradients on the the face, the skin, the the t-shirt and stuff. Um, <coughs> they're all different. And then what I did was I multiplied it using the layer styles, and then I, I took the opacity down to eighty five percent, just so it sat better on the on the poster. Um, and if we go to the lines, we can see that all I did. So for the rectangles, all I did was I went for the rectangle tool, which is on your toolbar. And then I chose, I think I chose three colors. I chose three colors like, so hold on, let me just position this like that. So I chose, these are not the final colors, just choose three random colors. So I just went blue, move this to the side. Then I duplicated it using Control J, moved it to the side, and then made this one like a little bit, mm, a little bit smaller. Widthways, not height. You want to keep all of them the same height. Then I chose just a pink. Control J again. Uh, if you hold Shift when you move an object and move it to the side, it um, keeps the position. Um, it keeps the position where it is, and it moves it along and it kind of locks it in if I choose this color and turn it to yellow and make this one probably a bit bigger like that and then I duplicate they go back to the blue bring that across make this one a little bit smaller what you want to have it's just a long line of these colors all the way to the end all the way to here um, and they all want to be like different sizes so you don't want too many of the same size but you want you want three different lines um, so for the purpose of this video, I am just going to quickly do these and I'll be back with you when I've done them. Right, we are back um, and I've done all these lines. Uh, so the next step is to work on the gradient. 
Now, you don't have to do the gradient in order of the different colors. You don't have to make all the colors different gradients, but you can if you want. This is literally just trial and error, whatever looks good. Um, but in terms of colors, you kind of want to find a nice little color palette like this. So there are lots of like um, purples, um, pinks, darker pinks, per like uh, blues. There's a little bit of green in there, I think. I think maybe here, a little bit of orange. Um, just find like a set of five colors that kind of complement each other. Um, but I'm just gonna stick to these colors because it's easier for the tutorial, just so I can show you guys. Um, so if I take this and I bring this across, then I'll just take some of these colors. So we've got like a, a blue kind of color. And then if I turn this over, get like a purple. So if I get rid of this and now you have your colors in your color palette on your left. Um, you should see them one over the other. Um, what you want to do now is go into the, the different lines make sure you can have them selected. Um, and holding shift, you want to hold this one um, and then just hold random ones. Click on random lines that you think might work well, like so. Doesn't matter if they're next to each other, you can, that's fine. If you have a selection of lines, um, bring them to the top, like so. And then you want to merge shapes. No, you want to. Sorry, you want to rasterize the layers and then merge shapes. Um, and then you have all these layers selected as one. So if I get rid of them, the white comes through. Um, now what you want to do is go to the new layer selection down at the bottom, down at the bottom right. Then you want to go to the gradient, the gradient tool. If your toolbar doesn't look like mine, all you want to do is go to workspace, um, go to window workspace um, and mine's on graphic and web. So if you want my toolbar to look exactly the same as yours, some people have been complaining about like their Photoshop's like layout doesn't look exactly the same. It's because mine's not the same from if you open Photoshop and never ever like manipulate anything. Um, so yeah, if you want it to be the same there. Um, then I'll go over to the gradient tool and simply hold shift while you're doing this. But if you go over to your new layer, create clipping mask by right clicking and then create clipping mask. Uh, hold shift and then drag down all the way to the bottom like so and then you kind of just want to get it to a point That you think looks nice That's all right um, Right, so now we want to go back to our layers and we want to do the exact same Just choose some that are a little bit further away from each other Like this Just don't choose the one that is your, the, the ones that you've already chosen. Like so. And if you've chosen that one, it will be highlighted. You can just unhighlight it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do the exact same. Drag these to the top. Then rasterize and merge. And then what you wanna do is go back over to here or wherever your color palette is, it doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm going to choose a red and then like a purpley like that. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same. Create a new layer. Create a clipping mask. Then you go to gradient tool. And then the exact same. Put it down like so. That's a bit. Yeah, that's all right. And then I'm gonna get this, what have I not done? I have not done a lighter pink. All right, let me do that. So I go here, and then like here. Oh no, orange. And a pink. Like so. Okay, so this one's easy now. You don't have to go through and check them. Just take all of these, merge them, rasterize them before you do that, <laughs> then merge them, and then go to the green tool again, and do the exact same. Um, so now we have our lines. You can make these lines whatever color you want. 
it doesn't really matter. Um, or you can go up like so. Like that. Um, and then what I did was for the um, character, I threw her in at multiply. On top of the layers, like so. So she kind of is there, but you can't really see her that well. I'm just gonna crop this. Like that. And then make her a little bit smaller. Like so. And then all I did was add in the text um, add in this kind of um, credit style stuff that I've been using um, and that was about it um, yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching um, I'm definitely gonna be doing more tutorials on the talk in the future um, let me know if you guys want like more basic tutorials um, potentially looking at like how to use different tools in Photoshop um, how to cut things out how to cut out hair because I know that's a really hard one um, for people just starting out. They didn't really know where to even start with that. I know I didn't, um, but I think um, I think I'm going to be looking into probably doing more advanced tutorials. Um, but if you guys do want to see basic tutorials, I will 100% do that. Um, I'm going to be trying to be posting two times a week, maybe three times a week in December, and then January we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. That's been um, a Clara tutorial. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.